Probably shouldn't have really loaded my world because it would kind of take a while. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Go away, lag. Ugh. Okay. So it is working. Yay! You'll know if, if it's working if it says flying on the top. I just pointed to the screen, but you can't see, obviously. So what you do to fly, see? Flying. And then you can go even faster. So what you do to do that is press F. Just press it. Don't hold it. Oh, by the way, you might want to change your key bindings because F is normally toggle fog. I changed it to L because I don't need it to toggle fog. And sometimes I accidentally press it. When I try to press D, I press... F and toggle on the fog and it gets kind of annoying so I switched it to L where I know I can't mistakenly hit it and then I also switched drop item to V because you need Q and also I switched crouch to C because you'll need the left shift however I think it's a lot easier to change it now I'll show you how to change the key bindings for the fly mod but when, when I first got the fly mod you couldn't change the key bindings for the fly mod so you had to change the key bindings for Minecraft, so they wouldn't uh, coincide with each other. So I'm just running in circles. Anyways, what you do is you press F, and then you press E to go higher, and then Q to go lower. And this just sets your height. I mean, you don't have to hold it. I mean, the longer you hold it, the longer you'll go up or down. And then if you release it, you'll stop. And then you can just walk normally by pressing S, S, W, S, A, D. Did I say all of them? Yeah. W-A-S-D. Okay. And then to go faster, you just hold down shift, which would normally be crouch, which is why you might want to change it. So that's pretty much all for the fly mod. I mean, there's, there's a lot of other mods that he's put on, and I've really only messed with three of them, or two excluding the fly mod. So I think I did, yeah, I did the minecart one which lets you move the minecarts with forward and backwards keys, W and S. And then I did the time, because I don't really like night in Minecraft, because Minecraft scares the crap out of me at night with all those zombies and creepers that blow all your crap up, and it's really annoying. So, um, hey, like a cake. All right, I think I'll show you how to change the key bindings, because I think I know how. We'll see. Okay, what you need to do is go back to your, oh shoot, that didn't work, dot minecraft folder by typing in percent sign, app data percent sign, go back in here, go back to mods, zone, config, scroll down to fly mod again, alright, yeah, yeah, this is definitely, probably a lot easier, let's see, I'll just change this to R, and save that, and we'll see if it worked. Start up Minecraft. Also, I'll show you what to do if you get the black screen of death, which pretty much means when you start up Minecraft and log in, you just get a black screen and it doesn't do anything. It just stays like that forever. It's really simple to fix and you won't lose any of your data. I'll show you how to do that. <clears throat> Anyways, I guess we'll just go back to my world. All right. Nope. Guess it doesn't work. Oh wait, yeah it does. Just kidding. It works. I was trying to turn on fly mod with R, but that just makes you go higher. All right, so it's a lot easier now. That's cool. So all you have to do really is just, oh, probably shouldn't open that up when I have, okay. That would probably mess everything up. So all you need to do is scroll down and change the binding or the keys for what you want it to be but I'm used to the normal one so I'll keep them um that's pretty much it oh wait yeah okay I was gonna show you how to fix it if you mess up save all right so what you do if you mess up see this bin folder everything we want in here before to get into this jar and extract it with one war wow I can't say that word winrar archiver so what you need to do is just Delete it. Yeah, delete it. It won't do anything, because your saves are right here. You won't lose your worlds. I'm trying to think of what you would lose. I you wouldn't you won't lose anything. 
You won't lose your screenshots if you have any. Hey, look what my friend found. It's a sheep floating on one block. That was pretty funny. Um, let's see, you won't lose your texture packs. You won't lose anything. All you need to do is delete it. Uh, I don't really want to delete it because I already deleted it to delete the fly mod to show you everything. Oh yeah, that's also... If you just want to delete the fly mod, instead of having to go back individually into the minecraft.jar and going through the winrar archiver again and deleting everything manually, you can just delete the whole bin folder and then it'll be gone and X out and then start minecraft up again. And then when you click login, it'll download, it'll download packages again because pretty much you'll have the first ever minecraft released so it automatically updates so it'll automatically update for you and it'll create another bin folder exactly where the last one you deleted was be was so that's really all you have to do to fix it if you mess up so that's pretty much it if you want to see any other mod like the time mod or the cart mod some other mod that i haven't messed with but i could probably figure out just Tell me in the comments. See you later.